Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, three different clients uh, Deluge, uTorrent and QBitTorrent So straight away I, um, I'm just going to go through the options slowly for all these So this one is uh, Deluge as you can see If you want to read these just pause the video and you'll be able to read them This one's a uh, U-Torrent, just going to quickly go through the options. Some people wonder why I do this. It's, um, it's so that people that don't really have these clients can see the options. Normally people that watch these types of videos are looking for a new client or trying to figure out which is the best client for them and they just want to see all the options so again you can just pause the video if I've gone too fast just rewind it and then you can see okay so um, I'm going to be talking about th the three different clients and um, just trying to compare them trying to figure out which one is the best uh, of course there is no real answer to which one is the best but uh, for the people that are hardcore for uTorrent because there are some people that just say oh uTorrent's the best, uTorrent's the best and then just that's it you know for those types of people just go watch a different video this video is not for you you've been warned <laughs> okay so Deluge the good thing about Deluge is it's light, it's lightweight, it doesn't require a lot um, there isn't a lot straight away in in the client as well but it does allow for plugins plugins um, there are a lot more than this you can install ones and download ones off their website um, plugins are made by both the developers of Deluge and people that use Deluge you know the user base so if you're a coder you can just create your own plugin but uh, if you do do that upload it onto the site and let other people have it as well. There's no reason just to keep it for yourself if you have made one. So um, some of the bad things about Deluge is that uh, the download speed is not the best but on the other hand the upload speed that you can get is very good. Uh, I find that I've uploaded a lot more with Deluge than other clients. Now what what do I mean by all this? Uh, you're not going to get a faster internet speed, of course, but you will get um, more chances to upload to other people. I don't know exactly how this works, but Deluge does upload more, um, not speed-wise, but just the amount. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, let's say there's a uh, 10 cedars, you're one of those cedars, and there's one person downloading. With Deluge, you've got more chance to connect to that person that's downloading and seed to him than you do with the other clients. This is what I found. Um, I'm sure that uh, this is correct though, because a lot of seed boxes do use Deluge. They tend to want the people that are using the, uh, the seed box to get their full potential out of it basically if uh, you have a seed box and you're not really getting much out of it you're not going to use it, you're not going to pay for it anymore so you don't pay um, that's why they want you to get as much out of that seed box as possible and some of the bad things about Deluge is uh, you don't have much columns they really should improve on the columns but again I'm sure people that uh, a good encoding can just create a plugin for this. Um, Deluge does not have a RSS built into it, but again, plugins 
<laughs> as you can see I'm talking a lot about the plugins um, you can just download a plugin and you've got an RSS with it uh, label plus label plus is another plugin <laughs> and you can add labels to um, your torrents and you can change the save location of each of those torrents and do a lot more other good stuff with it you can auto label it uh, I find that Deluge has the best labeling system out of any other client out there and it's got the best um, organization out of all of them like uh, you can change the location of all the torrents where they're saved to just based on their um, label so you can have them auto label and then automatically change the save location to where you want it's just fantastic so would I recommend Deluge to people? Yes, I would de definitely recommend Deluge to people, but um, this is uh, mostly to the people that care about auto labeling and sorting of their torrents. I would not recommend Deluge to people if they uh, are downloading torrents with Unicode in there or if they want to get the maximum download speed as, as possible. Deluge can get maximum speed sometimes, but I've not seen it get it a lot. In fact, it has the worst download speed out of all of them, but it has the best upload speed out of all of them. Kind of funny. Uh, the reason why I say uh, I would not recommend it if you are downloading torrents with Unicode into it, in it, because you will have to download the torrent, uh, save it to a location, and then change the name, then open it in Deluge. The reason for this is Deluge does not open torrents with uh, specific Unicodes. So, uTorrent. Some of the good things and some of the bad things about uTorrent is, well, it has the um, most pre uh, preferences, most options within the preferences out of all the clients. It uh, also has most um, columns I can't really show you on here um, it has the most columns uh, for the other clients some of the bad things though and there are a lot more bad things than uh, positive things they have ads you can turn those off but um, you may have to upgrade to pro or you may have to do a bit of uh, looking around for torrents you know to get the crack and all that or you can do it within the uh, in the advanced settings they really push you to upgrade to pro when you upgrade to pro you are basically paying money for it which I, I don't recommend you do it there are better clients out there for free or you can just get a crack you know for uh, you torrent the people that do uh, make this yes they do deserve to be paid but like I said, there are better ones out there. Uh, one of the good things about uTorrent as well is they uh, they have this thing built in, so it prioritizes people who have uTorrent. So again, if there's ten uh, seeds and you're downloading, there's more chance that you're going to connect to other people that have uTorrent. Than you are to connect with other people that don't have uTorrent. So there is a you know good reason to use it. I wouldn't use it personally because um, it's quite often in the past that you would have had uh, malicious software being installed with this. Some people didn't even uh, know that uh, they did that, but yes, they did. And um, there is also rumors that uh, uTorrent, the creators of uTorrent, are recording what you download and upload. So just be wary of all this stuff. uTorrent does have a labeling system, kind of like uh, Deluge, but nowhere near as advanced. And uh, it's not fully functioning like this. You know, uh, the labels would, uh, when you delete these labelings, labels, um, they would autom automatically come back, the default ones. So just be wary of that qubit torrent. Um, this is my default one at the minute. I like it, but uh, 
they could improve a few things. As you can see, there is a decent amount of columns. Um, u has more, Deluge has less. I see this as the sort of in between of uh, Deluge and u -tarrant. Um U-Torrent being the worst, Deluge being the best. Um, the labeling system is better than uh, U-Torrent, but not as good as Deluge. The reason why I say that is because there is no options to uh, save uh, the individual locations of the labels. You are just stuck with having those in uh, a sub location of the uh, default download location. Like uh, test, the uh, any torrents with label of test would be saved within the default location, which is right here in downloads. And then there would be a folder called test within that location and all the torrents that are labeled with test would be within that folder. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> so uh, I do get full whack on um, my upload and download speed on this. Uh, I don't upload to as many people as I did on Deluge but it's still a, uh, a fair amount. It does handle streaming like most clients. Uh, uTorrent, you would have to pay for uh, streaming. You would have to upgrade or get the crack. Deluge uh, also handles streaming. And, it, and uh, Deluge and CubitTorrent are for free. Uh, while uh, uTorrent, you would have to pay. The, uh, the reason why I say CubitTorrent has a better labeling system than uTorrent even though in uTorrent you can uh, change the location save location of those labels is because uTorrent only changes the location of the uh, the contents when the download fully completes if the download is already completed it will not move it if the download is still downloading it will not move it so as soon as it reaches as soon as it changes from 99.9 .9 to 100 in that in that split second that's when it would change the location after that it will no longer change the location this video has been uh, relatively fast compared to my other videos on the, the clients the reviews of the clients so I do recommend checking those videos out the uh, more in-depth uh, review of each of the clients um, at the end of the day, what I'd recommend is uh, either Deluge or Qubit Torrent. If you want to focus on uh, prioritizing uploads and your organization and auto labels, I'd say Deluge. If you want a um, faster download speed, Qubit Torrent. If you just want to move away from uTorrent, that's a qubit torrent. Deluge doesn't exactly work well with Windows. So if you do run into problems with Deluge, that's would definitely say try a qubit torrent. And that's everything. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other uh, videos. I have plenty now <laughs> about many different things. Uh, they're all about uh, torrents, though, and torrent content, of course, because that's what the channel is all about. Um, have a good one. Stay safe.